Hey everyone, it's Chris Texer. Let's play another game of the Seafarers of Catan. We're playing Oceania. O Oceania? I think that's right. I never know how to pronounce this game. It's 12 victory points. It does have fog fog uh, fog covered islands, uh, which can certainly be pretty useful. Those also make it so that um, there are no victory points there, which is interesting. I think in this case, I think we actually take this five, six, nine. I think it's the most potential for some chaos getting that. Um, I think then we could point up, could point down, I guess. It's a possibility. I do kind of like taking it though. Let's take that. I'm going to... I'm going to risk going to the left. I think there's enough room in a three-player game that some of these other spots get taken. Yeah, like the 8-9. That I'm a little less concerned. Because ideally, I would want to expand to one of these two spots. It would be pretty ideal. And maybe make use of this sheep port if possible. Like this 5-9-11 might be a rather interesting expansion locale. This one also interesting because we could potentially go to the wood port. Pretty interesting. Uh, where's the ore ports? All the way down here. So there's going to be a lot of ore if we do get all this. So a three for one port could also be pretty useful in this situation. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking our spot here. I do think that gets taken. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Still hoping this one doesn't get taken. I don't know if this guy is that ballsy to go take a date nine. I have two numbers? Man, that'd be rough. I mean, if they roll, geez, it's like money. But there's better spots. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Um, as much as I love the thrill of exploring and getting free resources. Ah, he takes the 5-5. Five, five, the 5 nine, That's an interesting take there. Hmm. I almost wonder if we take the wood port, to tell you the truth. Um, very curious to see what blue takes. Ah, oh, blue does take this. He does go two numbers. Wow. Got to admit, I'm a little, I'm a little surprised. But hey, you know, that's what you want to do. It's what you got to do. We could really ruin some people's games by taking this 8-11. I just don't think it's worth I think this is the better play. Get to the three for one port. We're still very much in the game and fine. We got a ton of wheat. We're missing sheep to start, but not the end of the world. Since we'll be able to get to sheep over here, potentially, we already get some starter extra wheat. And we'll go to our four or five expansion spot on the three for one port, which I think will be pretty good. I'm going to go shut my door. Oh, unlucky. First, the first ship gets a nothing. That sucks. That sucks. You really kind of hope you get something there. Did not get a thing. I'll do it for a sheep. We do get the sheep. Great. Which is what we needed. Going for the wood port makes sense. I'm very content with that. Um... I'm going to four more wheat. I'm holding, nothing to do. Yeah, we're in a pretty good, strong position here. I mean, we get this. We could potentially go 11-9. I think the more likely play is we just kind of wreck this middle here uh, down the spine of the island. Kind of call it a day. We get more goodies there. Second, we get another city. This really takes off. Um... We're actually pretty rare. Like again, blue here. This is this is a little rough. Eight and nine. Man. Haven't rolled yet. They will. They will. So this is one way to explore until that happens, but oof, that is that is a dicey situation, my friend. We get our nine. Perfect. We'll get our settle here. So we are in business. We're real close to already getting a city, which is pretty, pretty sweet. No one has any tens. So that goes. 
So yeah, all right, all right. Think things are things are cooking here. There they go. They get some resources now. Again, if you're gonna do this, like do that. What he did. That's not the worst thing in the world, for sure. Where's this island down here? That's kind of a nice little potential place to go. I do think we go down the spine, go expand to the six, twelve, ten. Kind of keep going down this route. That's what I'm looking to do. Ooh, two sheep for a wood. Man, maybe I should have done that, but I did not. So that's okay. We get an eight. Good news for them. We're going to go build a road. We're going to pass. I'm okay with this. They lose some goodies. Let's see where this goes. Probably on the five. I'd put it here. I mean, if it was me, I think I actually put it here. Um, but yep, yeah, I think that's right. Steal from us. I think I think that's right too. Don't have a problem with that. It's a bummer for us though. Um, look at them. They get their settle. But again, their problem is they don't have any wheat, which is kind of a downer all right they take from blue that's fine wood i'm a little less concerned about because i have a secondary wood resource which is groovy i'm gonna hold with that we're really the only player with like copious amounts of wheat so i feel good about that he does have the wood port man i would love that would have loved the eight. Oh, what a nice find. Get the gold mine immediately. Can he build a settle on it? Let's see. I, for one, don't particularly like just building settles immediately on these. I do like, especially in this situation, where you're not going to get extra points for getting there. We are blocked. Going to hold. Locked again. Man. Makes you think maybe I should have go bought, bought a card there. Okay, seven does come off. Or does he move the ship? He moves the ship. Yep. Good, good. That's that's good. Again, I think. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. Look at this. That what a what a fine. Well, we got a new front runner, folks. Sometimes expanding is good, especially if you can find that. Jeez Louise. We're not going to help you, my friend. That is not happening. We know what he needs. He offered for wheat. I think he offered for wood there. Yeah, we're, we're not going to let that happen. Yeesh. Okay. Well, that's terrifying. So, got to deal with that. We have a new... Oh, he gets it anyway. Wow. Okay. Yikes. Mm. I'm going to go here. Don't love stealing from you, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry, bud. We do have the knight. And that's why we steal there. Because we can always hit him. Hit him back. Gets a four. Let's see what he takes. It is of interest to us to know what he's after. Just a wood. That's interesting. I wouldn't have thought he would have taken a wood there. All right. Let me get some goodies. I'm not particularly interested in the wood, so I probably don't attack. We'll wait and see a little bit. Hmm. Let's buy a card here. Another knight. Mm. Gonna hold. Waiting to see what else he gets. That's kind of where I'm after here. This is not good. We're gonna need to make an example here somehow. At least we've got the knights. Like, we're gonna have to play very defensively. Oh, and he gets a sheep there. 
So he's got a sheep and a wheat. See what rolls? An eight. See what he takes. He gets a wood. And what else? And a brick. All right, let's go after some of those. We get a wheat. That's fine. I'm going to go use that on a road. Very interesting. Now, I'm moving that just because it's another thing to hit him. Hmm, all this ore. Hasn't really gotten much. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. But he has a ore. Something to potentially steal. Five. Um. Do I take it? I think I hold for now. Really need this secondary six going. There we go. So we get two on this. Then things really get cooking, potentially. I want four. Give you an ore for it. He probably needs it. But yeah, because this this is oh, he does trade with us. Good. Okay. He actually doesn't do anything, which is fine. Rooting for a six. Come on, six. What an interesting game. My goodness. This guy already with that 8-4 spot. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So we're going to see if we can somehow come back. Um, or if Catan Universe is going to crash in the middle of a Seafarers game again. I feel like outside of that greater Catan game, for whatever reason, it's been a little janky getting through these games lately. I mean, regular Gatan Universe, uh, regular Gatan has been fine. But, I don't know, some bad seafarers recently. Let's give the old watch. It restarted. Okay, so it's probably just the server again. What a shock. Um, okay, we do block him on the ore gets a brick he's just gonna build roads that's fine he's still got an ore up there i mean this is very quickly gonna become our next block should be obvious it's so 12 points all right let's roll oh five five is good for a few reasons um I'm going to play the knight here. I'm going to hit this eight. Maybe we get lucky. We get that. Um, I'm going to use this. To, well, wait a minute. Can I get a wood? What's what's it? Five, five, five. Do I want to buy more cards and just completely wreck this guy constantly? That's like the other option, right? We just keep buying cards. I'm gonna go for the wood. Maybe a little a little controversial here. But I feel like I need this second six. Oh, perfect. So that helps a lot. We can get that. Maybe I can buy double cards here and we can just keep attacking. Because really, that's kind of what it's going to come down to. We have to keep attacking. We got to build up, build our cities, do as much as we can to just try to slow this guy down. I think we're in a better position than blue to do that. Because at least we have the infrastructure. At least we have the infrastructure. So maybe there's a chance. Um, Sorry, man. Oh, no. Dude. Dude. This dude's already got freaking... Okay. I mean, if he gets to do the 8, I guess it's worth it. 
12. We get, hey, look at that. Wheat sheep paying off. Yikes. Okay. Well, that's not good. So let's keep going. See what else we get. We get a six. Six is real good. We buy cards. No. Going to get the points here. I want to keep these sheep around. I think we're going to get some fives and fours. Perfect. Man, we're getting we're getting good rolls on these fours. That is keeping us alive. Um not helpful, but again, he's kind of ticky tacky in here. Nope. Okay. Still a possibility on the road. We have a lot of wood. We haven't really been able to we haven't really gotten much of it. Hasn't really been a lot of nines. I take it back. There's been a lot of nine. Well, hasn't been a lot of elevens. We had the nine. Yeah, I guess we've been pretty efficient with them. When we use them, we get them. Yeah, we're still on we're still on card mode. Still the only person with a city. Which is probably our biggest advantage at the moment. Another four. Look at this. Yeah, gotta buy cards. Okay. Hoping for a six here. Man, that'd be swell. Nine. Nine works. A nine works. Um, let's keep going. Road. Card. DP. Would have preferred something else, but that's fine. Come on, six. Another nine. Okay. Not loving this. He's probably got a city incoming. I really need this six. This six will be really big if we can get that. We can get this six. Um two for one, I'll give it to you. Oh, we get it. Wow, look at that. He gives us a two for one. That's a shocker. Hey, you never know sometimes, right? You get the trades, sometimes you, you get what you want. Oh man, these nines. He's gonna get a city. Ooh, he has city there on the eight five. Okay. That's a bit of a win for us. He didn't city this. All right, we're we're making moves still. We're making moves. Come on, six. Seven. Goodbye, Wood. Hit you again, my friend. Do get an ore there. We're going to get a card. Nice. And we get a road. Perfect. So we're close to actually taking the road back. Which, again, is something. Keep this stuck on him. So we're, going, we're doing a good job of still being competitive in here. And, again, we do have a path to victory. I don't mind Blue taking the road for parity's sake. Him getting it is actually kind of nice because it balances the board a little bit. It makes Pabalo, 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 Pabalo a little less threatening, which is obviously good. Um, since he scares the crap out of me. Um, cannot have him being too threatening. Oof, God, scary. Okay, uh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, not helping you. Oh, God. Yeah, it would be helpful if we had another city somewhere, but for now, it's got to wait. Let's see what we get. Three. Nothing doing. Buying a card. Ooh, nice. Mono is really nice here. So we can maybe use this to our advantage. Eight. All right, there's some ore to be had. It's three ore available. 
and some wood, two wood, three ore. Trying to remember what's been rolled. Two wood, three ore. He doesn't do anything. And 10, more ore, more wood. All important, all important. A ship. So still ore available, okay. Let's see what else we get. Or what does he do? Let's see what he buys here. What else do he get? Got a brick and a wheat. Hmm. Brick and a wheat. Um. There's a lot of ore. I think we take. I think we take the ore. Let's do it. We're not really going to get too many chances to do this, so let's do what we can when we can. I'm going to take this. I'm going to buy another card. Get another VP there. That's not inconsequential, especially since our path here is really starting to perk up, right? Because <clears throat> now we either need... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I think we're closer to winning than anyone else at the moment. Again, we have done. That'll get us a settle. In which case, we could still try to compete for the road. I'm not really inclined to play the knight yet, unless I know I get something really good with because again, no one's going to take us. I think I think we win this game all of a sudden. Um, had to be careful here, though. It's not a given just yet. Nine. Build the settle. We're at nine. <clears throat> Holding. All right. We need for... Pablo to not take the road. Rooting for blue here to build another road. He does. Good. That evens it out. All we really need is a six. No, we need a four or a five. Four or five. Because the road's pretty much out of reach now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Done. I'll do a two for one in that case. It diversifies my resources. We could eventually try to pull. Could also build a road. Four is great. In some ways, though, that did kind of just stop me from winning in this situation. So maybe it wasn't the best, but at the time it seemed okay. Diversifying. Gets two ore there. What does he do with those? We're, we're so close, though. Builds a city. All right, let's roll. Well, that's going to do it. That is going to do it. We're going to win in pretty convincing fashion, I think. Let's play the knight. Play here. Steal from you. We get a sheepy. Um, yeah, we can actually win this a couple of different ways. I'm going to go and do the road. Honestly, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's do this. Let's do ship. Why not? We'll do... Yeah, well, I can't build a ship. Never mind. Uh, we'll just build a city. <laughs> My brain's like rotted. Doesn't matter. We actually probably could have taken the road, I guess. But yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We won that one pretty convincingly. Um, I was terrified. But again, that's why you play a little bit of production or we cheap. You got to control the knights. Got to control this. If this eight had been left untamed, this guy wins the game so easily. But we were able to tame him. Keep him in there pretty good. Very pleased with how that went.
We did a good job. He he played okay. I mean, that's just tough though. Uh, when you get somebody just knighting you the whole time. And then that mono was really helpful. That mono kind of won us the game. But yeah, very well. We only robbed one time. Robbed four times. We're in a lot of knights. That was very helpful too. We were able to keep it on that eight for a long time because there weren't a ton of sevens. So that's certainly helpful. And obviously all the main numbers rolling relatively even. Hey, and even distribution is like the best you can ask for anything between four and ten. So we'll take that. Very pleased with this win. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.